My name is Ari Schoenbrunn, and I'm a 9-11 survivor, having been on the 78th floor of Tower 1 when that first plane hit. I just want to share with you a couple of life lessons that I've learned. Number one, life is not about what happens, but life is what are reactions to the things that happen. Very often, things are out of our control and we can't do anything about it. And yet, we sometimes go crazy trying to figure it all out. Don't try and figure it out. Just let it go, let it flow. Two, they say that God whispers to our minds and he whispers to our hearts. But we're so busy running through life. Everybody's busy and nobody has any time. And every so often, in order to wake us up, God throws a brick at us. Now me, I've had the brick thrown at me. You, you have a choice. You can listen to the whispers or you can wait for the brick. Number three, you know, prior to 9-11, the most important thing in my life was my work, my job. And when my kids used to say to me, Daddy, can you come to the school play? No, Daddy's gotta work. Daddy, can you come on a class trip? No, Daddy's gotta work. Daddy's got to work, Daddy's got to work. That was always the refrain until that day. Today, Daddy's on the class trips, Daddy's at the school plays, Daddy's wherever his children need him to be because that is what is important in life. Number four, talk to God. We're so used to praying um, whenever there are issues. We say Tehillim, which is Psalms, you know, praying to God. Uh, we pour our hearts out in our prayers, but how many people actually talk to God? I know I had this situation in my family once where there were some issues going on and my mom was all upset about it. And she says, you know, I pray to God so much that, you know, for him to figure this out and to straighten it out. And I turned to her and I said to her, mom, it's great that you pray, but do you have to talk to God? I mean, he's there, he's listening. You know, the, you can have a one-on-one -on -one with him. There's no issue there. Prayer is important, but speaking to God is just as important. So the next time that you have a situation and you don't know how to handle it, and God is in your mind the only person that can deal with it, talk to Him. Put the prayer book away. Put the Psalms away. Just pour your heart out and say to God, I need your help, and He will be there for you. Number five, and last but not least, is something that I've taken upon myself personally, and that is to thank God for everything that he has given us. I look around sometimes, and sometimes I say, you know, why am I in this position, or, you know, why isn't my position better? And then I look around, and I see what other people are going through, and I literally turn to God and I say, you know what, God, thank you very much for everything that you have given me whether it's my beautiful home, whether it's my beautiful wife, whether it's my beautiful children, whether it's you know enough food on the table to feed my family. These are all things that are, in our minds they're small, but these are the important things in life and it's only because of God that we have these things. And so I make sure every day, every day, I say thank you to God, even during my prayers. I take a moment, I stop, and I say, thank you, God, for all that you have given me. I'm Ari Schoenbrunn, and you're watching JTV. To stay up to date with JTV content, click subscribe here if you're on YouTube and hit the alarm bell. And if you're on Facebook, hit the like button, and under following, click see first. If you enjoy watching JTV content and want to help us continue to grow, please consider making a donation to us by clicking here.